Today on Always Hungry, we're frying some cheese in Greece. Let's go. That's how you start a fire. First step, we do the garnish. We have some beautiful pistachios here. We're just gonna peel those off, chop them up, and uh, it's a very simple recipe. So what we have to do is chop our nuts. We're gonna toast these with the sesame as well. And then uh, that's pretty much it. We're gonna flour uh, the cheese and then fry everything and we're good to go. Right now, I am chopping pistachios. So now we're gonna toast our pistachios. Put these in the pan right now. I'm also gonna toast the sesame as well. I have some white sesame here. Put some in there. And we also have some black sesame. Perfect. And then we can put this around the fire. Okay, our nuts are nicely toasted and sesame seeds. The second you smell it, it's pretty much ready. So you see here, it went from white to nice and golden. So that's good to go. You can keep it off the fire. It's gonna keep toasting with the residual heat in the pan. Good to go. Okay, so our garnish is good to go here. Next step, we're gonna coat our beautiful cheese with flour. I used feta cheese today because that's all I got, baby. It's perfect. Um, you can also use some different cheese. Some people use Graveria, which is more of a creamy cheese, I feel like. But uh, yeah, we're gonna put some flour on there and fry a puppy up, baby. Cheese here. It goes to really get this thing well coated. But you wanna shake the excess off like this. On all sides. You can also get your cheese to soak in cold water for a few um, minutes or even like an hour to get the saltiness of the cheese. Um, what I did is I kind of let this cheese uh, between paper towel with a press to get some of the moisture out, which is probably gonna give us a better result on the frying. So basically what we're doing here is kind of my version of a saganaki, which is basically fried cheese just coated with flour and uh, they'll serve it with a lemon wedge. There's also this version called the talagani, which is with uh, graviera cheese, a bit firmer cheese, and they always drizzle some honey on there and some nuts or some sesame seeds. It's like a mix of saganaki and talagani, but my way, let's do this. Good to go to the fire. So obviously, to make the best fried cheese in the world, we need the best olive oil in the world. Okay, our pan is nice and hot. We can start frying these puppies. Oh yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Oh, mama, look at that. Okay, our beautiful cheese is nice and golden. We're good to go plate this bad boy. Time to plate these beautiful pieces of fried cheese. We'll do a nice little stack like this. It's hot, he's hot. Oh wow. Like this. Oh wow. Mmm. So, 
I like to put a little honey on there so we get nice, uh, it's a nice little sweet and salty going on. So we have some beautiful great honey. There's a little bunch on there. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Generous with the honey. Don't be shy. Beautiful. And now, we have our beautiful nuts right here. We have pistachio, sesame, right on top. Boom. And you can even do a bit of uh, lemon for acidity. Lemon juice. And now, for my favorite part of the video, it's tasting time. All right. Get a perfect bite for you guys, for you guys, for me. Get some sauce, some honey on there. Oh, wow. It's gonna fall. Mm. That is so good. Mm. Mm. Thanks for watching another episode of Always Hungry. If you like that video, press like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.